everybody. In writing today, we are still working on opinion statements and learning about opinion writing. Remember, our six weeks uh, performance task is writing an opinion paper. So it's very important that we understand what this is. Today, you have two things that you're going to be doing. First, you're going to need this paper. It's in your packet. You'll need a pair of scissors and some glue. Uh, or no glue, I'm sorry. Scissors and a pencil. You'll need this paper, scissors, and a pencil. When you get this one, fold it in half. Just fold it in half long ways. And then you're going to use your scissors to cut along the dotted lines. So you're making a flip chart is what you're doing. And then your second activity is going to be on class kick. You can complete them in any order. I'm good with either. Uh, at the end, though, like when you turn in your phonics journal work and your reading journal, you're also going to turn, you're going to show me this on your video so that I can see what you've done with this one. So let's talk opinion statements. You have seen our sentence starters for our opinion stems for sentences, and it gives you ideas about how to start an opinion statement. Some of us have not been using it, and I would like for you to, please. It allows you to stay in a controlled space with your opinion so that you're not rambling on, but you're staying, this is my opinion, staying right here in this one spot, okay? Um, stating your opinion means that you're telling someone how you feel about a topic. Today, you're going to be stating how you feel about each of these topics, and you're going to write a sentence. I would like you to use as many different sentence starters as you can so that you become familiar with how each one of them works in a sentence, okay? I'm going to show you how I would start writing my sentences, and then you can finish these off. This is on your written work. In Class Kick, you are matching already written sentences to the topic that they go with. So it kind of feels like we're still working on main idea, topic, supporting details, but this is for writing. So these are opinion statements that are written well, and you're matching them to whatever topic they're talking about. So like your introduction kind of feel. Um, I think once you get in there and look at it, it'll make sense. The topics are at the bottom of your page in Class Kick, so you'll need to scroll down to find those and then pull them up to whichever sentence that they go with. And you have two pages of those in Class Kick. Okay, I'm going to get ready so I can show you this. So go grab this paper, your scissors, and a pencil. Okay, and when you're finished getting all those things together, uh, you're going to push pause to go grab them and then push play when you come back. Before I get started showing you what I mean by writing a sentence, I wanted you to see that the last slide in your class kick before you start to turn things in, like this is the turn in page, the slide right before it is your opinion stems. So you have a copy of those to use. So if you do class kick first, you might want to write your sentences on this paper before you turn this in so you have access to your opinion stems, okay? That's where your opinion stems are. So, your assignment is to write opinion statements for each one of these topics. This is my opinion, writing opinions paper, and I have cut these apart so that they open one at a time, okay? So, the first thing you have to do is read your topic. This one says busy stores. All right, and then I have to think, how do I feel or what is my opinion on busy stores? Hmm. I am not a big fan of busy stores, which means I do not like it. So if I'm looking at my opinion stems, there's one right here. Let me see if I can turn this so you can see. There's one on the screen that says, I don't like. I don't like busy stores 
is a fine opinion statement. Okay, so on my paper, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to use my sentence stem. And look, I have all that space. I'm going to write, I don't, don't forget your apostrophe, like busy stores, period. I don't like busy stores. That is my opinion statement. Okay. Simple enough. One down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to go. I want you to do this for all the other, or for all eight um, topics that are on your paper. Choose an opinion stem and write an opinion sentence for each one of these topics. First step, read the topic, freezing weather. Second step, think about how you feel about that topic. How do I feel about freezing weather? I actually enjoy freezing weather because I can wear my sweaters and I have a collection of those. I know, crazy days. Um, so I like cold weather, so freezing weather works for me. Third step, pick an opinion stem from your chart that would go with what your opinion is. Step number four, open it up, write the sentence. Are we good? Perfect. I look forward to seeing your opinion statements. Remember, do this before you turn in your class kick so that you have access to your opinion stems. Okay, I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Make sure that you show me this in your uh, journal video that you're going to create.